I'm Sarah. Uh, this is um, a student here at Ohlone College, and this is my third year at Ohlone. I'm Reem, and also I'm a student here at Ohlone College, and this is my third year. And my name is Eliza Corporal. I go to Ohlone College, and this is my first year here. Uh, my name is Shelby Slate. I go to Ohlone College, and I'm a freshman or a first year. Uh, my name is Nick Maldonado. I go to Ohlone, and this, I'm a freshman. Yes. Yeah. But not at first because I was supposed to go up to a school in Oregon to play softball and it was a four year but then I decided I didn't want to play softball so I was like I'll just stay local and I didn't know what I wanted to study so I figured it would be a good starting. No, not really. I uh, applied to you know, CSUs and UCs. I got in but I wanted to play baseball so oh. I talked to the coaches here and I really liked the program. Really? Yeah. Because also it's not just because of like your GPA, it's also because of expenses. Mm -hmm. you going to a four-year university would be much more expensive yeah. than, and you would be taking the same classes, so. I think there's definitely the stigma with some people, but I mean, it all depends on how you view it and how you were raised, and um, I think it's a good starting route as long as you you know, yeah. continue to, yeah. No, I don't feel inferior because Going to community is cheaper than a university. <laughs> I feel like some people who go to university, sometimes they don't know what they really want to do. And I feel like community is more of like a second chance. Um, yeah, I feel like when you tell people, you know, I go to Ohlone, they're kind of like, oh, like, oh, what happened? Yeah, I have like friends who go to like universities. And, I mean, yeah, you feel it, but mm -hmm. even if they don't like show it, you mm -hmm. still kind of yeah, feel, you feel it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very proud. <laughs> yeah, I really like this school. Honestly, no. Just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm proud. Uh, absolutely, I play softball here too, so I, you know, have a lot of... Yeah. Yes. I'm really gonna miss it when I transfer next semester. Yes, I don't know where I'm but I would like to. Yeah, I plan on transferring because I want to get out of here. Yeah, after, not this year, but next year, hopefully I can transfer okay. to San Jose State or Davis. Okay. Hi, I'm Rachel and I go to UC Berkeley and I'm a freshman. My name is Jasmine, I go to UC Davis and I'm a second year. My name is Angel and I go to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and I'm a first year. I'm Jacob Lopez, I'm a freshman at UC Berkeley. Hi, my name is Janelle, I'm a first year at, at Cal Poly Flow. No, I don't feel like I'm superior to people who go to community college. No. Uh, I wouldn't say superior because I know a lot of people that were my friends that were equally, uh, you know, mentally whatever. I would say no. I honestly don't because I feel like, um, like to be honest, I feel like community college students work harder than most people. I'm sorry, the screen moved. <laughs> like, but yeah, like from my personal experience, like my friends who go to community colleges, they, they work a lot harder, especially because most of them, their goal is to transfer. Whereas if you go to a university, we kind of just know that we're here. So honestly, I don't, I feel a little bit worse than students who go to community college because I know they work so hard. Like, I mean, I work hard, but I know it's not as hard as they do, so. they're necessarily the same but it's not like one is better than the other but they're just different experiences because with community college you live at home and when you go to university you live on campus usually in terms of education it's if you go to a university you I feel like you might have more opportunities because there's different classes you can take but it's not necessarily like better like if you were to go to community college and then transfer to a university your education would be basically the same I think it's the same because if you go to a community college, you take similar classes in order to transfer, so I think you end up in the same place. In some ways, I, I think it's better. I've always thought community still holds that high school vibe. 
type thing. Like if you're local and you're not moving away, but you're still getting an education and I'm sure it's still just as good. Um, I could see them being the same. It's like a, it's kind of like a, it depends on how you look at it. Like I know for me, it's a lot of the classes are impacted and sometimes I don't get the classes that I want. Um, I don't know, like I know for my friends that go to community college, they're professors have like the same credentials as professors who teach at universities. It just kind of depends on where they chose to teach. So I feel like it's the same. There's some differences in terms of like classes you can take and what's available, but like if you go to community college and you transfer then it's like basically the same thing. So yeah. Yeah, I think that they offer the same classes. I mean, it, I think it also depends on the professors. Yes, I think so. Uh, my brother, as an example, he went to community college for two years and transferred here. He's a senior right now at UC Berkeley studying English. And I think that from what he's told me, about the classes are about the same difficulty as they were at the community college that he went to. So I would say the, amount, the level of education you get is more or less the same. I feel like you could attain the same knowledge if you tried to. I know there's people who like go to community college and just kind of like BS it. And, but there are people who try really hard and they learn really hard, whereas like you can go to university and also BS it and not learn as much. Like it's kind of on you. It depends on how much work you put into it. I think with school it's like you get what you put in.